Hello, <coughs> hello, 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 and welcome to ZomboCom. Everything is great at ZomboCom. There's a 2000 meme for all y'all. Uh, anyway, I'm continuing my quest to use uh, Koi Flan, uh, or Fish Lady, still don't know. I'll probably just end up calling her Flan. Uh, and doing what I can with her. Today, we're going to have multiple fights. Smaller. Smaller fights. Short, short fights. Little little bits. Um, the first one is against Allison with Abigail. Uh, DDR. A different Corinne, which is just so nice to see. Uh, I'll happily lose to a not BBK. Just a different Corinne, just any other Corinne, and I'll hap I'm, I'm ha I'll happily lose to it. Um, Rowana and Elena. Uh, I go for Flan, Amiki, Sharoon, Zeo, and Flitica. Uh, I ban out Rowana, they ban out Zeo. I'm just hoping that my Flitica is faster. She's 290 speed, and nope. 1%. It's always 1%. It's quite literally... Always 1%. But they also only have a 50% chance to hit, um, to hit Flan. Uh, so that's good. Or 30% chance? Or 70% chance, I guess, because they had Symbol of Unity. I guess that's the tech now. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset DDR, because he's... I, I, I'm now in uh, Protect Amiki mode. That is my new state of mind. Uh, if I could defense break everybody. Uh, turns out to be a Bastion of Hope Elena, which seems like overkill, but you know, you do you, boo. Flitica, thankfully, is in the shadows, and she will remain in the shadows even after this because she's skilled null. DDR. He can test. He does sleep Amiki, so that just absolutely assures the, the fact that I need to kill DDR. Uh, Abigail does not get stunned because Sharoon does not have a stun on her S1. Uh, especially not when it's soul burned. Um, they're gonna go into Sharoon. It's not... It doesn't look like it's a damage Abigail or they missed the crit. Um, either way, I need to get rid of this DDR, like... ASAP, but I also need to get rid of this Abigail ASAP. Um, Elena already procced, so I'm just going to S2 uh, strip everybody except for BBK of the Immortality, which is weird. Can I blind her? Nope. Thankfully, I do go back into Guiding Light. Uh, but now Sharoon is dead. If I'd gotten rid of the Immortality, that would have been just so nice right there. Uh, I don't care if they sleep Amiki here, because... Uh, they, they can only hit Amiki, uh, which is fantastic. If she can remember she's on counter set, that would be ideal. Um, but she never can. Uh, counter set? Even with the soul burn, that didn't even get me down to my immortality, which is hilarious. Uh, let's blind... Abigail. There's a counter, which is nice. Okay, Abigail's dead. We don't need to worry about her, immort her immortality. Uh, Amiki being base speed is also pretty good, because, whoop! Hey, there's the... There's the cut. Uh, unfortunately, LPK has her S3 to get Flitica out of stealth. Um... But, hey, Elena? Aw, oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Yep, I... I <laughs> this is why she's base speed. Um, now, we kill DDR with a soul-burned S3. Uh, Flan didn't really do much here, but she provided an outlet for me to win. Uh, we just need to get rid of you. Uh... If Amiki counters anything, we win. I get three opportunities. 
There we go. That's what we're looking for. And now there's nothing LPK can do. Boop, boop. So close, LPK, so close. Very, very close, but not not quite. All right, well, Aflan didn't do that. Didn't do anything there, so this is a um, an Amiki showcase masquerading as a uh, Aflan showcase. Here's another one. Uh, they go for Mage Luna, BBK, Selene, Ilanov, and Se regular Senya, actual Senya, Hollow Senya. I go for DDR, Laia, uh, Amiki, Knackle, and Flan. I ban out Luna, they ban out Laia, uh, because they were incredibly predictable. Uh, DDR, I do not care what you do here. You can just S3 because either you explode or it goes into a unit that I don't care about getting S2'd. Perfect. No way she stuns her. Uh, that's just going to proc her immediately, which is lovely. Let's go ahead and push everybody up. They're going to kill DDR, but he already did everything that he needs to do here. Uh, Knackle actually counters, which is unbelievable. No Salvo, though, because she still doesn't believe in Salvoing. Um, oh, I also... I'll show my updated plan. I changed her again. None of these show her being changed. Well, one of them does. Um, I'm just going to S3 try to defense break the Ilanov. It shows to be a not damage Ilanov. So I'm just going to try to wear her down as much as humanly possible uh, so that Amiki can win the game by existing. They're going to go into Flan, Miss, Knackle. Once again, going to counter Salvo. No, no. One day she'll salvo. One day she'll salvo without me forcing her to salvo. Uh, today is not that day, though. One day she will salvo. I guarantee it. Let's go ahead and kill Amiki. And now... Flan always crits, so... That's perfect. Senya is almost dead, which is awesome. Uh, the only one this could debuff is Knackle, who does counter Salvo. O for three, baby. O for three. All right. Well, let's go ahead. S one. We should be fine. Knackle, as long as you don't explode, we should be fine. Knackle, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to force her to Salvo here to gain back HP. Because I know she wouldn't have otherwise. Just to make it as difficult as humanly possible for them to kill. Uh, she does end up getting crit though, and then killed. So, you know, double crit. <laughs> you know, she she did exactly what she was supposed to do, which is die. Um, but she did counter a couple of times. And now we just kill you and you. Goodbye. Flananomaki continues to be hilarious. Uh, but that is the most Knackle has ever done, even though she still doesn't know what a salvo is. Next up, Ilanov, Selene, Sharoon, LPK, and Solitaria versus A Tywin, DDR, Flan, Ed, and Flitica. They ban out A Tywin, and I ban out LPK. Uh, nothing to worry about here except for Ilanov. My Flitica is relatively bulky, so I'm not super worried about Ilanov killing her. So I just S2 to get everybody out of stealth, get rid of the immortalities. Stuff like that. Flitica survives. Perfect. All right. Now we can reset the... S Solitaria? Sharoon? I don't remember who I go for. One of the two. Solitaria. Um, I'm just going to focus down Solitaria so Flan can start flanning. Uh, everybody's has skill null. So I'm not really afraid of Celine's S2. 
too. I also resist the stun, which is hilarious. Uh, now, Flan, if you don't mind, let's kill Solitaria. Because right now, I'm just setting up Ed winning. While it is a damage Ilanov, I can wear her down, so that's not a problem. Let's kill Solitaria. Celine, choose who you want to go into, because I could not care less. Uh, they do actually, it's a portrait of the, portrait of Savior, Celine, that's interesting. Uh, they do just S1 DDR, which is fine. Uh, they're gonna proc Ed, which is also fine. Um, I don't really care that Celine's still in stealth. I'm gonna blind the Sharoon. Villanov's gonna go into Ed. Uh, I'm gonna S3 because Ilanov is blind and she's already S3, so giving everybody uh, Cascade doesn't really matter. Because worst case, I can just kill Celine. And then slowly wear down uh, Ilanov. And they give up. Hey, Mau Mau! Ooh, baby Mau Mau! My cat came to say hi. Uh, next up, Zio. A flan on the other side, so it still technically counts as flan. Bryceria, Rowana, and SSV. I get rid of uh, Rowana. I go for DDR, Ilanov, Elbedo, Ed, and Amiki. They ban Amiki. Uh, let's see how things go. Can you kill DDR through Albedo? That is the question. Can you silence him? Step one. Okay, they tried to go for Ilanov. It did not work. They're not gonna... They're not gonna S3 quite yet because Ilanov would just push up. Right now, I want to get rid of... Um, SSV. SSV is going to be a problem. I'll deal with Flan once I get to Flan. But uh, I just want to deal with SSV. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep, everybody. Give everybody some venom. And then we just start whacking at SSV until she explodes. She will be able to counter with Flan, or dual attack with Flan, which is fine. They're just going to get rid of DDR, more than likely. Again, this is just kind of getting into a situation where Ed can win by himself. So let's go ahead, cut down another insight, or cut down an insight from SSV. And eventually, I will be able to debuff her, because all of my my Ilanov and my Ed can both proc her insight. Uh, I'm going to soul burn this, make sure she extra dies. Get the Venom, because she only has two focus. And there she goes. Uh, I probably should have S3'd here with Albedo into the Zeo, but I just decided to S1. He does resist the Venom, which isn't great, but I can just sleep him again with uh, DDR. Boop. Night, night. Flan's gonna S1. Hit everybody. Proc Elbedo again, which actually works because now Zeo isn't awake. Um, and if they do proc Ed, then Zeo will die. Meow, meow. Ooh, spooky. Uh, they're gonna soul burn this. Which, again, perfectly fine. It does literally no damage, because this appears to be an effectiveness price area. Uh, let's just start... Uh, getting a little bit of Venom on Flan to help deal with her. Uh, 
Bryceira is going to go into, whoops, Bryceira is going to go into Ilanov, stun her. But the question just becomes, does this kill Ilanov? It does not. It doesn't even kill Albedo. Uh, I am also able to get rid of the Bryceria's immortality, which is perfect, because Ilanov hasn't died yet, which is optimal, because now I can just send quite literally everything into um, Flan. Uh, I asked one, I know it doesn't do extra damage because I miss, but I just wanted to get extra um, injury on her to make things a little bit easier. Albedo does die, Ilanov still standing, which is wild to me. Uh, it does also show to be a lifesteal Flan, but she can only lifesteal so much in the face of two crit damage units. I can't crit, but I can still do a lot of damage even if I miss. Uh, S3, just to get Indomitable up, do a decent chunk. I will wear her down. She's at 690 HP. Uh, and now they get the very rude awakening of realizing that Ilanov is on Holy Sack. <laughs> uh, and as soon as they saw that, they left. Because who wants to fight Ilanov a second time? Uh, so that was pretty good. Uh, that was this one, right? Yeah. Uh, next up is Yelvana with Solitus, Genua, Flitica, Zeo, uh, and C. Pavel. Cavill. Mow, mow. She's freaking out. The cat's freaking out. Help! Uh, I go for Flan, because I want to test my new, uh, lifesteal build. Uh, Celine, DJB, Sage Ball, and Amiki. Uh, they get rid of Sage Ball. I get rid of Zeo, because book. Um, and now we play the age-old game of does Flitica reset Amiki? Uh, if yes, we're dead. If no, we have a chance. Are you an effectiveness, Faithless Flitica? You are not. That's fine. Uh, Celine's dead. Kavl's gonna S1. I do counter. Uh, it does also show itself to be a 10k HP Cavill, which is very weird. Uh, Solitus. Same question. Do you have enough effectiveness? Verdict? Kinda? Not enough? Question mark? Uh, they're going to go ahead and go into DJB. It's not going to kill with the S1, which is perfect. Um, the S3 is going to chunk Flan a little bit. But now they can either risk counters with Amiki or just keep going into Flan. And Flan's low, so... Okay, it's not too much damage, but Jenna was going to hurt like a bitch. I'm also now realizing they're... Woo, baby, okay. Uh, so, I could S3, but s 3 is worthless, so I'm just going to S1, break everybody's skill nulls. Gain back 2.5k, which isn't bad, but not enough to survive a Genoa S1, S3, uh, as most things aren't. It's not even enough to survive an S1. Um, but now, I need to kill Solitus, because she is the only one that I'm really worried about at this point. Because um, she can get dual tech, she can strip, which isn't great. There she goes. And since everyone's in stealth, I get my pick of the litter. Uh, they wave. I don't know if it's because they think they win, but I'm just going to kill Flitica. Uh, Amiki, please, if you could counter. You do have a 30% chance to do it because I have you built on counter set. I also don't know if they're still here. <laughs> they might have left. Counter. Perfect. We're going to proc his immortality with the Uberius. And this is going to push him up and he might legitimately outspeed me. And he did. And now Amiki wins. 
because his immortality is gone. I give him the cute solitaria, uh, being a little bitch, but, you know, all in good fun. Amiki counters again. I don't know where this is most of the other time, but, you know, he also double hit her, which is awful. But uh, we're just going to get rid of Zeo because, or uh, get rid of Genoa because uh, he's a pain. Uh, Mama, what are you eating? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Last up is Yoshinoko, I imagine. Yoshinoko. Uh, they go for Solitus, A Tywin, Ilanov, Rimuru, Genoa. I go for Senya, Celine, DJ, B, D, D, R, and Bihu. The lovely Bihu game. I get rid of Rimuru, they get rid of DDR. Uh, Solitus is going gonna go first. This will push up DJB. Um, well, it'll first of all it'll proc Celine. Celine, if you could stun Genoa, perfect. Uh, now we can't go into a Tywin because that would just cleanse. That would that would just cleanse Genoa and that defeats the entire purpose. Um, so let's go ahead and go into Ilanov. She is pushing up. Uh, but I do have a plan. One, barrier invert. Step one. Okay. Step two, immunity. Step three, be who please for the love of God. If you could get unbuffable on Genoa, that would be ideal. I'm not... Hitting Ilanov so she doesn't push up and cleanse. Okay, unbuffable on Genoa. Uh, and this is exactly what I wanted. I'm just checking to see if they leave. They don't. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to proc Genoa's immortality. Uh, and then because my Senya is on 3F, proc, pop. And then we win. Easy game. Uh, they banned Flan, so I couldn't use Flan, but, you know, Bihu's pretty much Flan, right? They're both red. Hi, Mau Mau. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? No, she doesn't. She hates you. <laughs>